This video is about the book The 10x Rule by Grant Cardone. I didn't really like the book very much, to be honest. I felt the author was probably not very satisfied or happy, constantly talking about more, more, more. He didn't explain about enjoying your success. He said if you slow down to enjoy your success, you'll miss out on more opportunities, and that's a waste. To me, everything is a waste if you don't slow down and enjoy things. Never completely sacrifice present happiness for future happiness. With that being said, I still did take three good lessons from this book, so here they are. Lesson 1. If you make your goal ten times bigger, it forces you to think differently and ask better questions. Tony Robbins says, successful people ask better questions, and as a result, they get better answers. Currently, I have just over 2,200 subscribers. I got 2,000 subscribers in my first month, and there are another five months left in 2018, so my goal could be to have 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. However, my goal is to have 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. If my goal was 10,000 subscribers, I could say, well, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and I'll easily get there, maybe even with a month to spare. I wouldn't be stretched and I could be tempted to slow down. Having the goal of 100,000 means that I need to find a new way to increase the growth of my channel, otherwise I won't hit that target. So I started asking myself questions. How can I genuinely make this happen? How can I increase the value I'm providing? The answer is more high quality videos which means writing high quality scripts in less time. How do I create scripts faster without losing the quality of my videos? I searched how to write faster and found a video on YouTube by a writer called Chris Fox who also has a book called 5000 words per hour which teaches you just that, how to write 5000 words per hour. Reading his book has taken me from a video every two weeks to now producing three videos per week. Making my goal bigger forced me to think differently. I used to think that writing 500 words in one day was a great amount, but now I can write well over 2,000 words in a day, and they are much better quality. Chris Fox writes over 5,000 words every day, which has changed my view on how many words is possible in a day. He wrote a 65,000 word novel in just three weeks, and it sold really well. Most of my scripts are less than 2,000 words, so this is the equivalent of me writing 32 scripts in three weeks. I also read and listened to more books on writing and editing writing. I also realised that one of my biggest problems was perfectionism. It was holding me back from producing more videos quickly. Because of my 10x goal, it forced me to find a way around this too. I watched some videos and turns out having a strict deadline helps me a lot. I have created a system of working that has deadlines to meet by the end of each day to keep me on track with my goal, and so far it's working brilliantly. If I hadn't have made my goal 10x bigger, I wouldn't have asked myself those questions. I would have settled for 10,000 subscribers instead, and I wouldn't have found the book or created the system. So, if you make your goal 10 times bigger, it forces you to think differently and ask better questions. Lesson 2. When your goal grows, so does your motivation. If your goal is too small, then you'll feel bored on your journey. Think bigger and you'll be filled with excitement. If you think about your goal and you don't feel fired up, then you probably need to 10x your goal and don't limit your potential. This is why people use vision boards and do visualisation. If you feel unmotivated, then think about the amazing house you'll have or car you want, if that's what motivates you. Maybe think about all the travelling you'll do. For me, it's thinking about all the people I will help with this channel. Also, when I become a millionaire, I can do what I love, when I love, with who I love, and make much bigger changes and have more influence on the world, so it'll be easier to make it a better place. When I watched Chris Fox's videos and realised he wrote the equivalent of 32 video scripts in three weeks, it made me so excited because I knew I could grow this channel much faster. When you 10x your goal, you significantly reduce the time you have to wait for the things you want. Why do we limit ourselves? Think about when you were a kid. You had no fear or limitation. People would ask what you wanted to be and you'd tell them an astronaut, a professional footballer, a billionaire. We laugh at kids for saying things like this, but the more hilarious thing is that we talk ourselves out of our dreams and hide our potential as we grow up. The following quote always makes me feel extremely passionate. It's from a book called A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson, and also it is in the film Coach Carter. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people don't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine, as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So stop limiting your potential out of fear. 10x your goal. It's much more fun. Lesson 3. If you 10x your goal and fall short, you will still have achieved much more. This is a very simple lesson. If I aim for 100,000 subscribers, but only get 30,000 by the end of 2018, I'll still have three times the number of subscribers I would have had if I didn't 10x my goal. If you shoot for the stars and fail, you'll probably land on the moon. 
When you 10x your goal, you learn to stretch your limits and get out of your comfort zone. So even if you fail, it will be a positive thing because you will have learned so much more than if you didn't 10x your goal. Jim Carrey said, you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love.